Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Welcome back everyone, this is case number 6 of Forest series in radiology. Our patient today is 50 year old man who presented with fever, productive cough and shortness of breath for 2 weeks duration. For this is the front chest radiograph of skating mature male patient. So you can see several abnormalities. So there are prominent uh, vascular markings here on both sides. And here you can see multiple rounded lucencies. There are lucent areas and they are rounded. They have a thick wall. Thick wall is there. Here you can see the thick wall. And some of them have air fluid levels. Also air fluid level is there. So air fluid level is also there. And left side is relatively spared they are mainly on right side and uh, some of them are linear or tubular lucencies and no hyalur masses and trachea central there is blunting of uh, costophrenic angles it's probably due to pleural thickening no evidence of cardiomegaly no mediastinal masses no pneumothorax and uh, visualized bones are normal so diagnosis of this case is bronchiectasis with uh, super added infection super added infection with bronchiectasis so this is the diagnosis super added infection because there's fluid level and wall thickening of dilated bronchi and these ring shadows are dilated bronchi you call it uh, cystic bronchiectasis so differential diagnosis are so cystic lucencies the differential diagnosis are sometimes uh, cavity tb cavitary disease sometimes Emphysema, emphysema mainly uh, paraseptal emphysematous changes. Other ones are Langan's listeocytosis, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis, and lymphangiomyomatosis. In children, you have to think of uh, congenital pulmonary airway malformations or CPAM. So it's important in children when there are multiple rounded lucencies. So bronchiectasis actually it's dilatation of uh, bronchi proximal to the terminal bronchioles, and uh, there are several types uh, uh, like uh, cylindrical dilatation of bronchi, ovaricose type of ovaricoid type of dilatation of bronchi, and cystic type of dilatation of bronchi. You can see those things by doing uh, HRCT of chest. And uh, there are several etiologies for bronchiectasis. Um, usually most of them are idiopathic and other causes are cystic fibrosis, infections and some uh, obstruct obstructive things in the airway. And, uh, and you have to think of cartaginous syndrome also. In cartaginous syndrome, it has a triad. There are cytosinosis and bronchiectasis, most of the time middle lobe, and uh, chronic sinusitis. It's caused by primary ciliary uh, dyskinesia. That's the major cause. So, in this x ray, there's no dextrocardia because this is the right side and so you need to keep this thing in mind to exclude 
cartagena syndrome when there's bronchiectasis so that concludes case number 6 of our series so please subscribe to our youtube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and you can comment on our videos thank you everyone thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this